Are you wondering if you should get the 8 gig, 16 gig, or the brand new 24 gig memory option for your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro? There are tons of benchmarks and memory tests you can do to compare the performance and measure all the nitty gritty specs, but we just want the direct answer. Well, it all boils down to what your needs are. Are you just browsing the web? Working on some light documents? Just watching Netflix? Or are you using some memory intensive applications like Adobe Photoshop or Premiere Pro? Stick around until the end of the video to make sure you don't make a big mistake when spending so much on your brand new MacBook. We highly recommend the 8GB M2 MacBook as your baseline. The 8GB of memory is plenty for the average everyday laptop for web browsing and binge watching Netflix. If you are aware that you use some more memory hungry applications like video editing and require a little bit more power, then we recommend the 16GB version. In most cases, the 16GB version is plenty, but if you really have the budget and really want the extra kick and you know you do some heavy coding or video rendering, then the 24GB memory option is for you. It all comes down to your budget and needs. If you are an average user, 8GB of memory is plenty, so you can save those bucks for accessories such as a carrying case, a keyboard cover, or some adapters. But remember, you can't expand the memory afterwards. It's soldered onto the motherboard. You are stuck with your decision for 3, 4, or even 5 years. If you have the means and would like to future-proof your purchase, then we recommend the 16GB of memory. And of course, if you know you use some memory heavy applications, then the 16GB version is highly recommended. And the 24GB memory option is for those of you who really need it and have the means to pay for it. But in our opinion, the 16GB should be plenty for most of your computing needs. Let us know if this video helped you make your decision to purchase your brand new MacBook. Please check out the links in the description below to purchase your MacBook through Amazon. We receive a small commission for every purchase as a result and helps us keep producing helpful content like this. If you appreciated this video, please, we'd be grateful if you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel.